Bronchiectasis is essentially the abnormal dilation of the airways. This is a common finding in cystic fibrosis patients, but there are many different causes of uh, bronchiectasis that occurs in patients that do not have cystic fibrosis. The abnormal dilation of the airways in bronchiectasis leads to many different problems. Our airways normally have the small little hairs that beat rhythmically and move all of the mucus that's normally produced in the airway out of the airway. When the airway is damaged from a prior infection, uh, from an aspiration event, from a prior injury of any type, it dilates, becomes bigger, and those hairs become damaged during that process. And when those hairs become damaged, it can no longer move that mucus out of the airway normally. And so that allows that mucus to stay in there and leads to a host of problems, including infections, chronic cough that produces thick, nasty stuff. There are many different causes of bronchiectasis. There are causes that are genetic, meaning that there's a genetic disorder, kind of like CF, that can cause dilation of the airways. There are immunologic disorders, which means immune deficiencies that don't allow us to fight infection uh, like we should. Uh, that causes recurrent infections of the lung and dilates the airways over time. There are some indolent infections that don't feel like you're sick, but sort of run their course over time and damage the airways. Uh, this is most commonly referred to as Lady Windermere's disease or non-tuberculous mycobacteria. There are also problems with the swallowing and aspiration of content that can lead to chronic damage of the airways and cause bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis can be diagnosed either by a CT scan or chest x-ray, depending on the severity, or bronchoscopy, where we directly visualize the abnormal airways. Treatment from bronchiectasis involves, first and foremost, airway clearance therapy that's good and effective. So the best treatment for bronchiectasis is effective airway clearance therapy to augment or help replace the loss function of those small hairs in the airway. So what we're really trying to focus on is keeping the airway as clear as possible to reduce the risk of a new pneumonias or new infections that are going to further damage the airway. Bronchiectasis can really lead to a decrease in quality of life because it can cause recurrent pneumonias and chronic persistent cough that can be really troublesome. It is really important to start treatment and diagnose bronchiectasis early on to prevent this rapid decline because it is not possible to later on fix the already damaged part of the airway. So our biggest goal is to diagnose bronchiectasis early and start treatment and prevention as early as possible.